Bill Davis, Ancestry Lands, AncestryLands.com. Hey everybody, so um, wow, I had an exciting weekend. This is a little bit different. This is just Phil Davis, you know, speaks Ancestry Lands. I'm going to talk to people, all right? Um, sort of a podcast, but not a podcast formulation. We're just going to see where it goes, all right? But um, Ancestry Lands, AncestryLands.com. I'm here to provide some value to you all and just talk to you a little bit about you know my weekend where i was what i was doing this is part of my journey as a person who started off as a nurse um a guy grew up on the east coast and now i'm out i moved out to the west coast and then you can see my mic here i'm trying to get the mic set up um and then i started out in real estate doing residential properties you know at first it was a way to supplement my income as a nurse because i saw that I had to work like every other nurse overtime doubles you're chasing after money and you're putting in more time to get a bigger dollar amount and then you're away and then life's still happening at home and then you're not there for it so now fast forward to I've got a business up and running I've got clients I've got people YouTube channels social media things like that and people can become complacent at that point and they feel like oh life's good and then you you stop okay you, you just you keep doing the same thing you just I'm just selling land right that that's all I'm gonna do but I'm not looking outward to what else I can make my universe a little bit bigger with you know so you just limit yourself in that time and I think we all get kind of that's the basic human like mode is we just limit you know we get to a point where things are good and then we just stop okay and then we're like great I'm gonna ride this out and as long as everything's fine and I'm doing well, I'm going to stay here in this lane. And then, you know, I, I'll have family members come to me and say, well, you know, when is more? When is, you know, when is it ever enough? And I was like, well, you know, life doesn't give you it's enough and you don't stop aging. You don't start stop getting older. You don't have less health problems as life goes on. And you can see in the economy right now that life is doing the same thing we're all having more you know more struggles more hurdles more high bars to do the things that we did in life so when you get in the mindset of you're now going to just stay at whatever's comfortable for you you realize that you stopped here and life is continuously doing this right it's just going so life is outpacing you because it is changing and i'm not saying that you should be unhappy where you are or you should look for that and that's great a lot of people get to a point and they achieve it and they're very happy with that but what i tend to do is always have my learning cap on um, my kids have their educational assignments and it's something called like their think cap so they got to go put a hat on and then the hat is like you know it's supposed to make them start using that brain more but i always wear an invisible thinking cap um or you know my thinking hat where i'm always trying to take in new knowledge so what i did over the weekend is that i went to a three-day workshop um, with the multi-family mindset i'm not plugging them i'm just letting you know i went to their um, workshop where they outline and outlay their multi-family investment strategies that they offer to the attendees that are there um, did i see an immense value in it? absolutely um, did i sign up no, not at that time. And there's not, it's not a review on them, but I understand my numbers and I don't have a uh, FOMO mindset. You know, FOMO is the fear of missing out. You, you might have seen that with the housing market and, you know, buying in, getting in a home now when interest rates and it's competitive. Um, I always have a model for myself is that if I see a value in something a week or a month after I've made the initial presentations presented to me, then I know it's a true value. But what happens is in the three day workshops, you are in a in a microverse where everybody's there. Your 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 only input is the people who are there. And it's a great thing to have because you can make decisions with people who are on your level. Um, most of the time when you come home, like I talk to clients who probably bought properties from me and you all can probably attest to this is that you tend to you're excited about the land you love what ancestry lands is bringing to the table you think it's an amazing price you go home talk to your wife or husband and they're like eh, eh, and you're done right it's just now the idea is shot down and that happens so much in our life 
But I would say is that if you still find value in it, and even though you've got the anticipated, no, all right, they call them dream stealers, whatever else, I never look at my wife as a person who's tearing down my dreams. I look at it as if I can get past her nose and I still see a value in it, then I know it's a value to me. And that's the thing that most people don't understand is that something you value, other people can't value. So if you stop at their no, then, and you still see if you don't see a value in it, you know, or, or you're their no, you bought their no, then it really wasn't a value at all. Um, or your value, what you value was the energy that you got at the event. Not that. Now, I still today still think it's an amazing value. Um, I think Tyler's a, you know, he's the guy who's doing the uh, multifamily mindset presentation. I think he's an excellent presenter. Um, I think he's genuine. Um, I love his energy and a whole lot of things. What I took away from it wasn't the multifamily per se. Um, I made a lot of great connections up there with people who were impressed by my business presentation. They were impressed that Ancestry Lands was there. I wore my brand there. Um, so not to boast, but to be present for my business, to know that the people who bought properties from me, I wear the, sorry, this side, <laughs> I wear this for you, okay? I'm representing you because you also are a part of Ancestry Lands because you have you own land from Philip and Michelle Davis, right? So you're part of that. You're part of that representation of how, why Ancestry Lands is what it is now. So, and the people who are watching, you're also part of that, that universe that I have. You know, you're in my, my universe and I, I'm thankful. If you hit the like button, please comment, you know, share, show some love for what I'm putting out right here because this applies in your regular life too. Um, I made a point to talk to people, to interact with other people, to listen to their stories. And they were wowed by the fact of my journey. That's the journey of all my clients, the people who are owning property, people who are looking at properties, people who are my friends. Everything you've seen me do from being a nurse for 20 years, starting this business, moving from California to Pennsylvania, people who know me as a nurse said, hey, it was crazy for you to be doing that, flying back and forth. But one thing people knew about me or a couple of things that one, I was sincere, one, I'm driven and, you know, I know well, that's two. And then three, if I'm going to say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And that's it. I'm, I'm a very, very big man of conviction. And people like sometimes that harsh genuineness that I have. And I love the people who love me for it. People who can't understand me. I'm very sorry, but I love you for your differences. And um, but a lot of people that really appreciate about that about me. And the people who appreciate that about me, we have a long lasting friendship and they know that there's a cut separating me from people who are, um, you know, they're happy in a moment. All right. Um, I ride with you. All right. I'm, I'm there in the think tank part of it when you're going through the troubles. I'm not there when it's good and then I'm gone when it's bad. So I made connections with people. I, you know, created some memories. I even, you know, I didn't meet Tyler at the gym. I was working out when he worked out at 5 a.m. You see that video here. <laughs> All right, Phil Davis here, Tyler Devereaux. Video, video, I love it. Yeah, definitely. Multi-family mindset. You guys see my post. I'm in here trying to learn things, trying to be a part of the team. He get, he beat me down here today, man. He beat me down. My, my, the rest of the team ain't here, though. 540 right now on a Sunday. No less. Freaking getting it. Yep. You see who's in early, right? Mindset, right? That's also part of it. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Man. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Um, where I talk about that, and you can see that what I what I looked at from there was that, okay, he's Tyler the presenter, but in the gym, he's the Tyler the person. You know, this is who he is working out at 5 a.m. What time you work out is not important, but we were both up because we had the same schedule. All right. I was going to his presentation when he was going to the presentation and I got out when he let us out. So all that time outside of that, we had the same schedule when we started our day. Um, I was in there a little bit before he was, but we were in there at the same time. His team wasn't there. It was just he and I and, and maybe one or two other hotel members, which we had no, there was nothing from there. And I did this video with him not to plug his thing. Um, and not to take away from his brand. I love his brand. I respect what they're doing. But it was to show that 
you can have a business. You could have um, great income. You could have great personality. You could have all these skills. But what are your behaviors that you have? What's your daily routine? What are the things that you really do that other successful people are doing along you? Now, I don't have their numbers. I don't have, you know, um, you know, their multi-million dollar investment strategies. I have a very scaled down version of what they have. Um, it's a different model, but it's in the same realm, but I've only started, you know, I think he started in 2014, I started in 2018, so he's got four years ahead of me to get where I'm trying to go, but I've been a student of learning how to grow, um, and the message is not changing about where land ownership, he's in commercial space. Again, I tell everybody all this time, every building he's bought started with land. That building that is there now was a property that someone had to build on. It Everything starts back to land, which is why I'm so passionate about land. Um, go to AncestryLands.com, Ancestry Lands on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I'm everywhere. Ancestry Lands. Name in the back, baby. Ancestry Lands. One generation to the next. Bill Davis signing off. Remember, knowledge is power. Ownership leads to power, all right? If you don't own property, you'll be on this property, baby. Go get some land. Ancestry Lands got you covered. Phil Davis signing out. Take care, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Are you confused with today's real estate market? With high interest rates and overpriced housing, it can be hard to find something to own at the right price. Available on Amazon, Getting Dollars from Dirt by author Philip H. Davis is a game-changing book that invites you to embark on a thrilling exploration of this often overlooked asset class. This book is your roadmap to unlocking the secrets of vacant land investment. Inside these pages, you'll uncover the transformative power of vacant land as a wealth-building tool. Discover how to spot promising properties, assess their true value, and capitalize on market trends. From understanding zoning and permits to leveraging financing strategies, you'll gain the knowledge and confidence to make savvy investment decisions. With each page you turn, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the profound impact your investments can have on the world around you. Getting dollars from dirt is not just a guidebook, it's a call to action. Whether you're a seasoned investor or a curious novice, this book will empower you to tap into the immense potential of vacant land and embark on a journey toward financial freedom and a brighter future.